We have arrived in the Netherlands at Camp in Valkenburg. It's a beautiful sunny evening. It's been about 29 degrees today, 30 degrees. Yeah. One other couple in this section. It's several hedged off areas. The drive today was okay. Um, about three and a half hours. Again, 150-ish miles, I think it was. Um, so it was all good. Morning. Morning. So we have our first full day in the Valkenberg. It's, um, as you will have seen, there was a bit of a storm coming last Just night. Just a little one. I don't think <laughs> we've ever been under thunder as loud, ever. It shook the caravan. Felt like it was under the ground under us. Unbelievable. So, uh, didn't get much sleep last night. It's uh, one of the downsides to having a tin box. So, uh, yeah, lots of rain, lots of thunder, lots of lightning sat outside under the awning whilst we could watching it around before uh, it got too much and too wet. Falkenberg turned out to be a really nice town. Loads of hotels so it's obviously really uh, touristy in the height of the season. Obviously we're now entering the low season. I shouldn't laugh but sometimes when you're doing this video in people do stare at you and uh, Cowboy just walked past staring at me and they both collided onto a pram which you shouldn't laugh at if I'm not laughing. Here's your castle. That's where we're going to walk to, up to the castle. Just up to the cafe in Valkenberg. A beer, fizzled mint tea and a bit of the local cake. So we think we can get into the castle grounds. There's no castle ruins here. Let's see how far we can get. It's uh, nine euros each to look at the uh, ruins. We're not going to pay that, we're going to go for lunch instead. These chips are fantastic. Good. So we got fed up of uh, walking around, trying to find somewhere to eat, with all the crowds, and then all of the seats are in rows. So, as you've seen from the video, so you have to sit next to other people, it's just like Rose looking out onto everybody else walking past. So we found someone that did Belgian chips. So, fritz and mayonnaise. And apparently, a traditional Dutch sausage. Mm -hmm. Can't be a Dutch sausage, eh? Morning. So uh, just off, we found a baker's, which I think is about got that mile or two away. So we're just going to have a wander off the campsite and go down to the baker's. We woke up and it's beautiful. A bit windier, a bit windier, a bit cooler, but uh, still good. So uh, whether we'll change our plans or not, who knows? But we thought we'd go for a walk first and. Uh, get some food because that's the main part of obviously every holiday. <laughs> Maybe I'm 
I'm not. I think about it way too much. Hello. Hello. Right, so we're just about to uh, have some lunch. So I'll show you what we bought from the bakers. So what we bought is we bought a bit of baguette, and then we got some butter, some hummus. Claire's not bought crisps out yet. I some crisps. Bit of cheese still from Germany, which we didn't eat, so we'll eat that. Um, bit of vegetables, and these are cheese and ham croissants. And then we've got some hams and cheeses from still from Germany, and I bought some from this morning. So that's our little pack up. So had a lovely day. We went down to the bakers this morning, as you saw. And had lunch, cut the drinks this afternoon, Claire's done crossword, tidied the caravan and just had like just a restart on that. And uh, I've sat and got my computer out and started going through some of the uh, footage to start editing some of the videos. Um, about halfway through doing day one in France, which seems like an age ago. It feels like another holiday because we've had that one, come home and then we've got a wagon. I think so we'll it's, uh, back yet. No, it's been uh, lovely, really, really, really enjoyed this trip so far. Still got Belgium to go and really enjoyed the amount of time we've been away. So we've just decided to, I'm going to stop saying so at the front of <laughs> We have. Yes. We've come out for a walk, um, so we're going to go the same way that we walked towards the bakers, but we noticed there was a red footpath, and we think it goes through the woods, so we're going to try that and have a little wander through the woods. Um, but it is very dark, if I turn the camera around, it's dark over yonder. I think that's past us by, or it could be coming this way, but I think it's past us by, so we should <laughs> we'll be alright. <laughs> yeah. But. You'll know by how wet we are in the next <laughs> shot. to Maastricht today to get uh, the dog her uh, take home treatment um, but before we went up there we thought we'd uh, come and have a look at this thing. This is a tower, well, that's a tower that you can uh, go up and you can view three countries. So we're at the junction of Belgium, Germany um, and the Netherlands and uh, the three points. So uh, we're just going to go and see how it is but I've got a feeling you won't be able to take the dog up there. So if not, we'll just have a wander around the woods. Well, we're going. We're going up the tower. We only let dogs up here. You know what the noise is? But he likes steps. It's a dream come true for Bonnie. <laughs> So, I said before, apparently this is where the three borders meet. Which is which? I'm already puffed out. Right, I'll see you at the top. So they've got a posher viewing platform in Belgium. And there's another viewing platform, another viewing platform. There's plenty of them around. So we have Belgium. And as we walk around, Germany. Over there. And then Netherlands. Over here. Right, right around. Oh, there's another staircase with a viewing platform. 
for one of those skywalks. Okay, so this is the skywalk. It's one of these ones where, oh my god, you can see straight through. And I'm normally alright with heights, but this scares the wheelies out of me. And then glass on the end. And you think, well, it's got to be strong enough, or they wouldn't do it. I feel myself feeling like I'm balancing. Hey, made it. So there we are, over the edge. It's alright if you don't look down. Very good, enjoyed that. That's a good uh, a good thing to do. So we've come back down the tower. That's really really good. And only three euros fifty each to go up there. I didn't think it was too bad. So we're just now a cup of coffee here before going to Maastricht. Hi, we have an appointment. Stopped at the services. It's 140 miles from Valkenburg um, to where we're going in Belgium, which is Kleinstrand. Um, so, with 40 miles to go, we've just stopped at services. There's probably another hour to go, probably. So, stopped at services, toilet break, um, walk the pooch. You right, Bum? Yeah, walk the bum. Um, uh, refreshments, something to eat, a cup of coffee, <coughs> so that when we turn up we're nice and refreshed ready to set up again. So we'll uh, see you when we get there.